It's been seven days since the country went into lockdown, and it seems the government is still struggling to come up with concrete regulations. The regulations concerning informal food traders and travel to funerals have been relaxed somewhat, and the transport minister may have confused and caused a bit of a panic with the constant changing of regulations for the taxi industry. Here's a reporter, Tsehoa Chomo Achi, who is on the ground looking at the situation right now. Tsehoa, a very good morning to you once again. My interest this time around, Tsehoa, is around the wearing of masks by taxi occupants or passengers, if you like. How do you, uh, what have you observed around how they behave when wearing those masks? Are they wearing them properly? Good morning once again, Koli. Yes, so currently we are at the South Gate taxi rank. Um, that is where we are now, where we are seeing that masks are being handed out to some of the passengers. And earlier when we were at Bree taxi rank, as I mentioned to you, there are some people that are wearing the masks, but not necessarily them being handed out to them at that particular taxi rank. But to give us details about this situation now, handing out of the masks and the gloves, um, I'm joined by MEC Jacob Mamabolo. He's, of course, the MEC for Trans transport in the province. MEC, thank you so much for your time. Let us just um, start off with the issue of masks. Um, what is the plan from Gauteng's um, perspective and from Gauteng's side? Just yesterday at a pre-taxi rank with the Minister of uh, Transport, uh, Honorable uh, Fikile Baluda, we have started with the distribution of the protective uh, masks to commuters. So. Currently, we are scaling up. We are intensifying our efforts, firstly to procure, to make sure that our logistics are right and distribute to different taxi ranks. So in the province of Gauteng, we've got five regions. In each of the regions, we've got our regional offices. They are the core support base for taxi ranks. So the way we do our logistics is that we distribute through them. So we have started yesterday, and of course we are intensifying our efforts, and I'm quite sure that um, next week, Monday, we will even see a much more bigger scaled up distribution of masks. As you already, as people might be aware, we have already, in, this is now the second week, where we are running in this province a full-blown program, a program that is up and running, in which we are cleaning vehicles, particularly, most importantly, the taxis. So our systems are in place. At every taxi rank in the province, we started with the top 100 taxi ranks. We have got teams of taxi rank marshals and our officials doing over oversight. So the machinery in the province is in full swing. Any additional intervention, like the regulations are now saying, government supply must. So it comes on top of a well-oiled machinery on the ground that is cleaning vehicles, sanitizing the uh, hands of uh, our commuters, and making sure that uh, public transport does not become the weakest link in the chain, uh, putting lives of our people at risk, in which case they can be easily infected with the COVID-19 virus. Now, let me see. Um, we were at Brit taxi rank and we saw some taxi um, drive, some taxis actually just driving out at full capacity so there were there was a person in every seat and it was not the stipulated amount of 70 percent as it was said by the minister what is then going to happen to those kind of taxi drivers so the so firstly we must strongly condemn that that is unacceptable so we know that the taxi industry historically has had a culture, even when it comes to other law uh, requirements, uh, other stipulations in law, they've got a historic culture of undermining compliance, uh, of disrespecting the law, and I can assure you, the law will and must take its full course. It must prevail over taxi drivers that are undermining the lockdown. It is unacceptable, and we really want to appeal and call on law enforcement, arrest the driver, and 
impound the vehicle. We have doubled the price of uh, impounding if, if a vehicle is impounded, almost from zero in the previous years. It now stands at three point at, at three thousand five hundred. So. So that money you may not even make in the entire period of the lockdown. So I think here yeah, we will go to the provincial uh, uh, a committee where law enforcement is meeting and we are going to have to stamp down on this issue because the perpetual historic culture in the tax industry of undermining the laws of this country has got to end, end right away right now. And I want to really strongly condemn those taxi drivers, and I also want to warn taxi operators, the owners of the vehicles, because they are allowing their drivers to undermine the laws of this country. We will also have to now consider in this province very seriously whether we shouldn't withdraw the permit, because undermining the lockdown, undermining um, um, uh, actually, actually putting lives of people at risk is really a serious crime against our people. And if need be, we will not hesitate to blacklist that taxi owner, the operator, and remove them on our roads. So we want to appeal with the, uh, to, the, to the taxi owners to direct their drivers to respect the laws of this country. We want to appeal to the leaders of the taxi industry to take responsibility for these issues and make sure no vehicle goes to the road if it is not carrying 70 percent of passengers. And secondly, no vehicle must hit the road if it is not cleaned, because it could be driving around spreading the virus. Thirdly, hands of commuters must be sanitized. These are the three things that we are requiring. We have provided them with cleaning vehicles. We have provided them with material, with sanitizers. So those who are breaking the law, really, here we can negotiate this matter. And, and, and so, so we, we really want to appeal to the tax industry not to gamble with the lives of people, including, by the way, their own lives. Because there's this um, uh, thing that I've seen also as we visit taxi ranks, that when you arrive there, you can see high levels of ignorance where taxi drivers just think that uh, they are quarantined away from being infected by the virus themselves. And you can see their level of ignorance, do nothing about it. So, so I think we must emphasize Taxi operators, you are now putting your businesses at risk because you are provoking, you are actually calling on us to withdraw even your operating permit. So we really want to warn them if there are any drivers that are doing that. We know they, are, they always try to gamble, they try to undermine the law, but at some point they must know this country is founded on the rule of law and they cannot forever continue with these practices and our law enforcement must come very harsh on them. All right. Thank you so much, MEC yes. Jacob Mamabolo, MEC of Transport in Gauteng, giving us details about what will happen and a stern warning being sent out to taxi drivers and to taxi owners.